Camp is a great opportunity for any athlete to develop their skills, which will enhance their ability. I want to provide an emotionally safe camp environment, one where young people can be elevated, build self-esteem and confidence. The idea behind class training was to provide a window of training that falls within each athlete's graduating high school year. During registration, it was interesting to watch the moms when I asked, what year does your daughter graduate from high school? They almost got teary-eyed trying to figure it out. We had a great week. I'm pleased with our first ever signature camp. There are no two signatures alike, and there are no two athletes alike. Each has their own talents, and each has greatness in them. Some have developed their greatness quicker than others. My intent is that each athlete leaves the doors thinking about what they can add, their purpose, and what contributions they can make if they continue to work on that aspect of their game. It may even be a character trait they need to tweak. I don't want them to leave reflecting on the things they didn't do well or the mistakes they made. Although volleyball will come to an end for each athlete at some point in their life, the intangible skills they learn through training they will always carry with them. I encourage strong character, allowing someone to go ahead of you in line, starting out first, cheering on someone else's accomplishments, listening, continuing to try when the skill isn't successful, being patient with a partner who doesn't have the skill level yet. I do believe these intangible traits will be needed throughout life and will be a necessity for those athletes wanting to continue their career in college. I'm 11 years old and I went to the class training camp at KVA. I really enjoyed station, passing on one court, standing on the other, and hitting on another. We focused on proper technique. Since we are young, we still made mistakes, but there was a lot of encouragement from Coach Shannon, Coach Nikki, and Coach Peter to keep working on getting it right. Okay. Relax. Relax. Now tighten it up really big. Are you left-handed? One of the favorite parts that I enjoyed about the signature camps was teaching them little rhymes to go with new forms, like the hitting, the hitting approach. I'd do a little rhythm with my hands, and they'd repeat it back to me, and they would they would remember that for the rest of the camp. And those are those are little things that they can not forget. Wrist and hands together. Okay, and all I'm going to do is take this ball, pass it back to her forehead. Okay? Every time I watch this ball, I'm going to low to go to her forehead. Okay? Go ahead. Alright? So if I can get that ball up to land on her forehead every time, I'm doing a good job. Okay? You guys ready? We've got a ball and partner. Go. Do 10 each. During my setting sessions, I told the girls we were training for the Olympics. I believe that the mind is such a powerful tool, and if they truly believe, I think that great things can happen. I love coaching all aspects of the game, but one of the most favorable of mine is the setting technique. I think there's so much intangibles that a setter can hold for a team, being a leader and keeping everybody in, in check. They have the ability to be that quarterback for their team, and a lot of leadership abilities can shine through the setter. It was fun for me to train new footwork styles. I really tried to emphasize how the girls wouldn't probably get a perfect pass, and it was okay to run off the net and do some things with their feet while their hands were trying to make that delivery accurate. I saw a lot of talent in our camp. And that's exciting for our area. We need to continue to train these young girls so that they can develop into strong setters for their team.
another thing about the signature camps that I really enjoyed was the serving. There are so many different forms to teach of serving and different serves to teach, and um, the kids are really, really interested in the serving, and they, w they just wanted to get the ball over so bad, and that's what kept their attention going on um, on the coaching staff while we were trying to teach them different different ways to get it over. And at such a young age with the little groups, it, it thrills them when they get the ball over, and they, they get it over and they run up to the coaches, and it's so exciting to see that joy on their face. Yeah. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to do three things, and they're all going to happen in one second. I really enjoy learning how to hit a back five hit and the correct technique for a cross court hit. I also enjoy learning how to serve a float serve because the ball moves from side to side, making it difficult for the other team to pass it. I really enjoyed camp, and the coaches were great. The signature volleyball camp were such a great experience for me. I love working with younger kids and teaching them the game of volleyball and teaching them all kinds of skills and techniques and new things and new new forms that they need to learn to, to excel in the sport. It was great to get to work with all different age groups because each age group has their own little twist to the, to the game and how they react to different coaching techniques and teaching techniques and they all learn differently and it was just such a joy to teach them things and then understand it and learn it and then be so excited to come in the next day and show me what they were practicing at home or what they remember. Serving makes you nervous in the game, and I am glad I improved that. I made a lot of new friends, and I think everybody improved in one more thing, and I improved in serving. A healthy balance between having fun and working hard needs to be present. Sometimes stopping a drill and doing something silly can help a player connect with the group or be just enough of a mental break to refocus. Players have to have an inner desire to want to succeed. The results of hard work are fun. However, younger players need to be taught how to connect enjoyment and an inner drive. volleyball camp, I learned a whole bunch of new serves. One serve was the jump top spin. Another serve was the jump float serve. There was also the float serve and the short serve that I also learned. What I liked about camp was that you learned all the skills like setting, hitting, passing, and serving. And then on the last day, you put all the skills that you learn into games and scrimmages so that you could practice them and, like, see what you're doing wrong and stuff. I was very grateful for all the parents who brought their player out to our camp. It was so fun to watch all the different age groups and where they are in their technique. Some have uh, blossomed already into their skills and some girls are brand new. They've never played before and it's so much fun to see them improve just even on a daily basis. 
we had a lot of fun and we learned a lot. I'm very much looking forward to the rest of our signature camps.